Hello. Welcome to EasyVB, Tips and Tricks 8. In Tips and Tricks 7, we added some buttons to the SAP text-to-speech application, to enable selection of the SAP voice from the voices installed and enabled on the PC. However, we already knew the array item number for the voices of the tutorial PC, and so we wrote click event code, specific to the tutorial PC, to select the installed voices. As the installed voices vary from one PC to another, we need a method of listing and selecting the installed voices, on whatever PC is running the application. In this video, we will explain one method for doing this. Before we go on to explain in detail, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and even comment, in support of the channel. Thank you. Okay. What we are going to do, is, amend our application from tutorial 7. First, we will go to the code view, and remove some lines of code. Remove the click events for the voice selection buttons. Remove the declared variable, enabled SAPI, from the variable declaration space. Within the load event, remove both lines commencing tb1.txt. And, within the try, catch, end try, statement, remove the line, enabled sapi, equals, enabled sapi plus one. Next, go to the form view and delete the SAPI voice selection buttons. Shrink the size of the text box to make more space on the form, and add a vertical scroll bar. Now add two list boxes to the form, and change their names to, LB enabled, and LB disabled. Add a label above each list box, with texts, enabled SAPI voices, and, disabled SAPI voices. Change the back color of LB enabled to light green, and the back color of LB disabled to light blue. For each list box change there, scroll always visible property to true.
Okay, now we have set up our form, so let's add some code. For each list box add a, selected index changed event. The selected index changed event is the default event for list boxes, so we can add the event by just double clicking on the list box control. We will come back to these selected index changed events, later to write some code for them. First go back up to the load event, and add just two lines of code, that will populate the list boxes with the PCs installed, enabled and disabled SAP voices. Within the try statement, write the line, lb enabled, dot, items, dot, add, open bracket, open quotes, voice, hash, close, quotes, and, i, and, empty quotes, and, sapi, dot, voice, dot, get description, close bracket. Repeat the same line within the catch statement for lb disabled. Run the application. There. Now we can see we get the list boxes populated with the installed voices, including their descriptions, and the array item number of the voice. Great. All we need now is some code that will set the voice selection by clicking on the list box voice description. Return now then to the selected index changed event, for LB enabled. Write the following two lines of code. Sapi dot voice equals sapi dot get voices dot item open bracket microsoft dot visual basic dot val open bracket lb enabled dot selected item dot substring open bracket seven comma two close bracket close bracket close bracket then on the next line sapi dot speak open bracket open quotes you have selected close quotes and lb enabled dot selected item dot to string close bracket run the application and select from the enabled sapi voices list box you have selected voice number 0 microsoft david desktop english United States. You have selected voice number 8 Microsoft Zero Desktop, English, United States. You have selected voice number 5 Ivona 2 Brian OEM, British English Male Voice, 22 kilohertz. You have selected voice number 6 Ivona 2 Emma OEM, British English Female Voice. 22 kilohertz. Okay, now let's check if selected voice Emma will speak this line. Good. We can now select and set the voice from the list, as well as preview the sound of the voice when we select it. Note that for the selection from the list we did not use audio play mode background, because we want the application to wait while the voice selection is spoken. OK. Let's go now to there, selected index changed event, for LB disabled, and write some similar code. Sapi, dot, speak, open bracket, open quote, sorry, comma, space, close quote, and, LB disabled, dot, selected item, dot, to string, dot, substring, open bracket, zero, comma, eight, close bracket, and, open quotes, is not enabled on this PC please check your license status for this voice, close quotes, close bracket. Run the application again, and now select from the disabled SAPI voices list box. Sorry, voice number one is not enabled on this PC. Please check your license status for this voice. Sorry, voice number four is not enabled on this PC. Please check your license status for this voice. Sorry, voice number nine is not enabled on this PC. Please check your license status for this voice.
Okay, that's good. Almost finished. But one last detail to fix. When we click on the list box selection you may note that the list box text selected gets highlighted. This is okay for the enabled voices, because we will want to see what voice we selected. But for the disabled voices list box we better remove the highlight after the voice speaks the text, because, we didn't really select or set a voice from that list. So add the line, lb disabled, dot clear selected. This will clear the highlight from the list. However, to avoid throwing an error when the selection is cleared, we need to enclose this line in a, try, catch, n try, statement. It's a kind of cheat workaround to clear the highlight, but it is simple and it works fine. Run the application again. Click again from the list of disabled voices. And we should now see the highlight clearing after the voice speaks the text from the list. Sorry, voice number 2 is not enabled on this PC. Please check your license status for this voice. Sorry, voice number 4 is not enabled on this PC. Please check your license status for this voice. Okay, now we have a better SARP application that can be used on any PC to select from the list of whatever voices the particular PC has installed on it. In Tips and Tricks 9, we will enhance the SARP application further by explaining a method to highlight each word of the text as it is spoken, just like this, and also to automatically scroll the text in the text box while it is speaking long sections of text. Thanks for watching. We hope this tip and trick was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.